says they are adding needle disposal boxes in bathrooms at some of their locations across the country because of a flood of worker concerns. KZI 9 News reporter Madison Glassman spoke with a former employee who says this is a problem in our area. They looked kind of like a scene out of a horror movie. Except it's not a film, it's real life. Dirty syringes and needles. That's what Starbucks employees across the nation reported finding in their bathrooms. That's why a spokesperson with the company says they're taking action and installing needle disposal boxes in select stores. When I first saw it, I, it, it disgusted me. It disgusted me. Vic son Van Wee worked at the former Starbucks on 18th and Pearl. Van Wee says finding needles was not uncommon, but shocking every time. During his second week of working at the former Starbucks, he was responsible for cleaning the bathrooms and was horrified at what he found when he opened the door. A couple were in the trash can, and then there were others, there were two more just on the floor, along with like, there was blood as well. And that store's not the only one with problems. KEZI obtained documents from the Oregon Occupational Safety and Health Administration that shows two employees at the Starbucks on West Broadway were struck by needles last year. The coffee giant was ordered to pay over $3,000 in the investigation, which fined the company for not providing containers for used needles. I have some odd experiences that you're unsure what's exactly going on, so I can see it being beneficial in areas. It's a good thing they're being added because this is a problem. However, it, it, to me, it shows that there's another problem at hand, and it's just this is one of the byproducts of that drug problem. Starbucks declined to comment which stores in Eugene have disposal boxes, but I checked out the store on 13th and Alder near the U of O, and sure enough, I found one. In Eugene, Madison Glassman, KEZI 9 News. A bill that would eliminate.